That would be Jason McDonald going in in center field. Bottom of the second, no score. Mike Lamb. And look at low go go. Luis Gonzalez saves himself a double and any further running. Bottom of the fourth, game tied at one. Chad Curtis, an 0 for 15 jag ends, and 1 for 16 is a lot better when the one's a homer. His seventh, Texas goes up 3-1. Top nine, Arizona down 4-3. Man on first, two outs with their beat. More fireworks. John Wetland facing Bernard Gilkey. Gilkey. This ain't no can of corn. Rusty Greer, the former driller, is going to have to hustle, and he makes the sweet diving catch. Texas holds on to win it by a count of 4-3. Kenny Rogers evens his record. He has pitched at least six innings in all 11 of his starts this season. Nelson Figueroa, the 14th starter in D-backs history, loses his debut. John Wetland worked the ninth. As we showed you, converted his club record 11 straight save. Pods visiting the Mariners. That's at the safe top of the six. Padres up one zip. Ryan Klesko against John Halama. Well, that is ball. serious hang right time. Home run going. number 149 of Klesko's career, 10th of the season. Two run shot, Padres leading it 3 nothing. Base is loaded here, and Klesko, that's a cheap RBI. Walked by Rob Ramsey, Eric Owens scores. Ramsey gets yanked, Kevin Hodges come in. Now he's got the bases loaded. He walks Damian Jackson, that's a free pass, and pretty much a free win if you're the Padres. They led 7-2 there, win it by a count of 7-4, and Sweet Lou wearing out the grass to the mound. Stan Spencer comes within an out of his first big league complete game. John A's hosting the New York San Francisco Giants, and Art Howe breaking out the Connie Mack threads. Mack, 53 seasons as the ace skipper. Barry Bonds, top of the first, we have a score. 466th career of Bonds, the home run of Bonds' career, Dave Winfield. He passes into 20th all time. One zip. Top of the fifth, 3 3. Bonds is just feeling good and flannel. That is really high. His 22nd of the year, 44th multi homer game of his career. Bottom of the seventh, A's down 5 4. How about Matt Stairs coming up clutch off oh, Alan Embry? That would be the three-run go for ball. Stairs ninth in the A's on top 7-5 and would win 9-7. Oakland wins its fourth in a row. Bonds, 22 homers, tops in the bigs now. In 1911, Fran Wildfire Schulte of the Cubs led the NL with 21. And the Giants as a team hit 41. Said Stairs of his blast, just went up and let it go. Dodgers and Angels, standard Four, issued one, working two, close. One, Davey Johnson watching, watching Todd Hollinsworth in the top of the first against Brian Cooper. Hollinsworth, little pop-up. Kevin Stocker, though, still thinks he's a devil ray. Loses it in the sun. Hollinsworth stayed first, son. Two batters later, Gary Sheffield. Mm -mm -mm. He just barely keeps that ball fair, but it's a two-run homer. One of his two homers in the day, and the Dodgers led it 3-0. Sheffield 16 and 17 now in the season. Bottom of the six, Angels trailing 6-3. Mo Vaughn up against Terry Adams. And there's Alex Cora, solid in the field. Nice pick, good throw out of the inning. Dodgers scraping the sixth and going to win it by kind of 8-3. Sheffield the 17 homers on the season, 17. About that, and this top two gets Wilton Barris. Wolf went seven, giving up just two runs on three hits. He struck out nine. Bottom five, Tim Wakefield in Pedro's place. Mike Lieberthal putting him in his place. First of two homers for him on the night. He matched a career high with five RBIs. Phillies up 5-1. Top six. Nomar Gassiapara. Solo to left center. Nomar's fourth of the season, 100th of his career. He's 12 for 20 in his last five games. Top nine now. Two outs. Darren Lewis. Alex Arias from his knees. And look at Lewis. Speaking of Don Dankinger. Actually, that's Jim Joyce ejecting Lewis from a game that was actually just over at that point. Tommy Harper trying to break it up. Red Sox have lost four straight, mashing their longest losing streak of the season. Boston two. The Yanks Braves, there it is. Pat Corral is subbing for Bobby Cox. He was his daughter's high school graduation. Greg Maddox at the plate. Right off Jorge Posada. Posada, huge. She would lead the game. He is day to day with a bruised knee. Top of the third, 3-2 Yanks. Chris Turner filling in for Posada and filling in well. He polishes up Maddox like a table. His first homer of the season, 4-2 in favor of New York. Bottom of the third, still 4-2. Wally Joyner over to Derek Jeter. Booty, booty, booty. Fifth air of the season for Jeter. He compensated by having four knocks in the game. Next batter, Jordan Roger Clemens. That's a rocket going the wrong way. Three-run shot for Jordan, his 11th of the year, and the Braves take a 5-4 lead. Bottom of the fifth, it's now 6-5 Braves. Javi Lopez, pinch hitting. Bernie Williams 
can't get back there. Two bags for Lopez. Rafael Fukeo scores. We're tied at six. Clemens gave up six runs, five innings of work. Bottom of seven, Braves, seven, six, two outs. Lopez again, two out hits are a good thing. That one a rope, scores Trinidad, Hubbard, and Fukeo again. Braves take an eight, seven lead. Bottom of the ninth, they're up four. Bring on John Rocker, making his entrance from the bullpen, and as always, good speed. One out for Scott Brocious. Rocker walks Brocious. Leo Mazzoni, start rocking, buddy. Next batter, Jim Leyritz, and he gets plunked. First batter Rocker's hit the season. Mazzoni, this is a bad time for a telemarketing call, I'm guaranteeing that. After a force out, runners on first and third for Jeter. Mazzoni, he's watching Mark Wallers all over again. Walks Jeter to load the bases. Corrales now wearing out his spikes. Mel Stoudemire says, I'll get on the phone call. Mariano Rivera, just in case we'll need him. Bases loaded for Shane Spencer. Hold your breath, everybody. Oh. Yeah, Trinidad Hubbard is there. No damage is done. Mazzoni can breathe out, as can Rocker. Braves win at 11-7. CPR job by Rocker. Braves in an eight-game home losing streak to the Yanks. Not a thing of beauty between the league champs. Three minutes short of four hours. Yanks committed four errors. Clemens, as I said, gave up six runs. Maddox. Jays and Chris Carpenter, the deuce, gets Mike Lowell looking. Three Ks in seven innings for Carpenter. Billy Koch in now, trying to protect a one-zip lead. That's not how you protect it. Lowell, the hammer, and that one is gone. We're tied at one. Jim Fergosi in the dugout saying, oh, get somebody out. Very next batter, very next pitch, Kevin Millar. That's not exactly what Jim Fergosi wanted there. Back, two back, two one. Marlins, we go to the top of the ninth, bring on Antonio Alfonseca against Jose Cruz Jr. Just absurd gas, he cannot get it. Marlins went 2-1, Alfonseca picks up his 17th save. Koch, fourth blown save of the season. Marlins now 9-2 in interleague against the Jays. Starter Ryan Dempster, he was a Canadian, allowed four hits in seven innings, still is, I imagine. Chris Carpenter got out of the first without allowing a run for the first time in five games. Orioles in Canada couldn't beat Ann Murray if she started for the Expos. Top of the six, 5-4, Mike Bordick. Mike Mordecai is there. The pitcher needs to buy Mordecai dinner. That is starting a beautiful 5-4-3 double play. Bottom of seven, still 5-4. How about Vlad Guerrero? Mm. Even in metric, that's really far. Guerrero's 16th home run of the season. The Expo survived back-to-back -back homers by B.J. Suroff and Charles Johnson to pull out a win. Continuing their interleague series with the Devil Rays at Shea. Mike Piazza back in action. Bottom two. Robin Venture off Steve Traxel. Russ Johnson, great stop and throw to first. Bottom four. It's Todd Zeal going to left field where Greg Vaughn was starting for the first time since training a hammy on May 26th. And Greg, that, back there, Greg. It's over your head. The... Max lead one nothing. Zeal going to wind up with a double. He's not proud, though. Top five, Al Leiter facing Vinny Castillo. And in the words of Larry Beal, with velocity. Top six, Leiter gets Felix Martinez. Leiter struck out eight, gave up four singles, walked five and six and two-thirds. Top nine, Armando Benitez rings up Vaughn. Tough day for Vaughn, who's 0 for 6 with 6 Ks against Benitez. The Devil Rays had not been shut out since Charles Nagy and Mike Jackson combined to blank him on August 28th of last year. It was a streak of 85 games, the longest in the majors. Mets have won six of eight. Tampa Bay has lost 15 of 20 overall as the Devil Rays interleague record drops to 9 and 27. Ouch. Twins in Cincinnati where they were honoring the 75 Big Red Machine. ESPN's Joe Morgan there. That was interference on Ed Armbrister, by the way. Fans want Charlie Ossel, whose lifetime gambling ban prevented him from attending. Bottom five, the double nits, the low stirrups, and Junior hitting a home run, breaking an 0 for 18 slump. Dante Bichette would follow the home run. Bichette 8 for 12 in his last three games. Back-to-back -back job. Same inning, Reds up 7-3. Michael Tucker thinks he's got one here. Butch Husky somehow makes the underhanded throw. And in the words of our producer, I didn't know Butch Husky owned a glove. Apparently he does. They're still looking for Pete despite the 9-3 win. Denny Nagel unbeaten in his last 19 starts since a 5-2 loss to Atlanta last August 25th. Nagel has gone 11-0 with a 2.95 ERA. Top three, Tribe up 1-0, Garrett Stevenson, David Justice, and it's gone. A two-run shot is 12, 3-0 Cleveland. Bottom four, Cologne, McGuire, the sequel. He's got a no-hitter through four. Bottom seven. 
version three. The no-hitter is still going until this. Up the middle, the first Cardinal hit. Cologne goes eight, allows two runs on three hits. There goes the no-no. Bottom nine. Cards, runners on the corners. Eric Davis versus Steve Carse. It is in foul ground. And look at Carse. He's going to make sure taking it away from Jim Tomey. Carse's 11 save and 13 chances. St. Louis has dropped three or four. Bartolo Cologne now four and one since a stint on. It's a new building. We're still working out the kinks. False alarm, although fans were actually told they had to leave before finally being told they could come back. Surprised they came back. Exactly. Bottom two, Mitch Molusky high and foul, and the ball hits a girder in the ceiling. Oops. Home plate on Travis Katz and Maya Rule. Dead ball. Molusky becomes the first guy to hit the roof in the new park, saying afterwards, I guess that work in the weight room has paid off. Bottom six, this is Richard Hidalgo, and that's an home run. His 17th as the Astros snap a four-game losing streak. There have now been 98 home runs hit in 27 games at Enron Field. Elbow surgery, top two. This is Dean Palmer, and that's an home run in a hurry. A solo shot, his 11th one, nothing Tigers. Bottom three now, Mark Grace on second for the Cubs. Sammy Sosa. They're going to wave Grace, who just missed 20 games with a strained hammy. Bobby Higginson is throwing home. And Grace just looks like he's running in slow motion. Higginson leads all Major League left fielders with six assists. Now, that's research. Bottom eight, Cubs down 5 nothing. Sammy. Say hello to my little friend. Sosa's 17th. Way out of there. His first Wrigley home run since May 10th. Three-run shot. Bottom nine, Cubs still down 5-3. Todd. Jones blows away Jeff Reed. Jones 15th save and 16 chances closing for Jeff Weaver who held Chicago to one run on five hits and seven and a third. It's the Tigers first win in Wrigley Field since a 9-3 victory over the Cubbies in game seven of the 1945 World Series. As for Kerry Woods, 69 of his 109 pitches were strikes. He came to season high nine, walked only one and despite the loss that afterward, my stuff is pretty close. Royals and Pirates from Pittsburgh, top five. Mike Sweeney facing Jason Schmidt. Deep to center, and Brian Giles is at the wall. At the warning track to the wall. Oh, that's a web gem. Top six now. Two on for Sweeney. And he turns on the inside pitch. A three-run home run is 12th. Sweeney, four for five with a career-high five RBIs, 10-3 KC to add insult to injury. Jermaine Dye next goes yard is 16th. Back-to-back -back home runs, part of a seven-run KC six. They win big, snapping Pittsburgh's four-game winning streak. Jay Watasa gets his first win in seven starts, dating James Mouton against Stan Belinda. Mouton is outstanding. Singles to center scoring Louis Lopez, and the Brewers win it two to one. Belinda hit Lopez to start the 12th. Then he was sacrificed over and went to third on a wild pitch by Belinda.